We have come together for the annual festival of Chinese films organized by the Ricardo Leong Center for Chinese Studies at the Ateneo de Manila University. We shall also launch at this occasion a book on Chinese paintings put together by the Confucius Institute in partnership with the Chinese Studies program of the university. Friends, we are always looking at each other, looking at life, looking at this world through all sorts of lenses. Lens. Some of these lenses are fragile and understandably limited in focus. Some lenses allow us a macro or microscopic view of things. There are times we use the lens of politics and business to see and relate to one another. Times too we realize how limiting these political and business lenses can be especially when we begin to view the world through the lens of culture and the arts. It is through this particular lens that we are able to make sense of our shared journey in this world. Through the lens of visual art and film, we are able to discern and create new meanings that give us life. The Ricardo Leong Center for Chinese Studies, the Chinese Studies Program of the Ateneo de Manila, together with the Confucius Institute, continue to help Filipinos understand and engage China in ways that are meaningful and lasting. On behalf of the Ateneo de Manila, I am thankful and glad that we have come together yet again to celebrate the larger things that bind us. As I wrote in the foreword of the book on Chinese painting featuring Chinese masters and Filipino students of Chinese art, I said, something new and creative happens when art transcends borders, languages, and cultures, and is able to bridge us to one another. An artist, even one who is deeply rooted in his or her own country and culture, an artist is always enriched by the, the diversity of aesthetic forms and styles of other cultures. Both the artist and the audience, they learn openness, they learn humility, they learn respect when they see beauty refracted through the artistic prisms of another culture. My dear friends, we need to continue looking at the world with each other's eyes and through the eminent prisms of each other's culture and art. We are therefore grateful to all of you for the grace of your presence this afternoon. We Thank to especially the government of the Republic of the Philippines, here represented by the Honorable Presidential Spokesperson Edwin Lacierda. We thank the Embassy of the People's Republic of China, here represented to the Honorable Madam Ambassador Maki Ching. We thank the Confucius Institute at the Ateneo de Manila, represented by the director, Dr. Ellen Palanca. We are grateful too to the Ricardo Leong Center for Chinese Studies, supported by our great benefactors, Dr. Ricardo and Rosita Leong. They have helped us in our mission to form a new generation of Asians and Filipinos who will value and build bridges, bridges that we need to create a world of harmony and mutual understanding. It is my hope that we might again discover our Asian identity and the ultimate imperatives of our shared humanity through our coming together on occasions such as this. May the beauty that we see, that we behold through culture and art, 
be this on canvas or on the silver screen, lead us to discover the larger things that bind us. Let us celebrate then and welcome the lunar new, the new year of the water snake, Shinyan Kualet. President of Ateneo de Manila University, Honorable Secretary Edwin Lasiada, the Presidential Spokesman, Honorable Father Bienvenido Nepres, the Board of Ricardo Leon Center for Chinese Studies, Honorable Father Jose Cruz, and Daniel, Vice President for University and Global Relations. Honorable Mr. and Mrs. Leon, founders of Ricardo Leon Center for Chinese Studies, and other distinguished guests. Ladies and gentlemen, dear students, 尊敬的各位客人, As we celebrate the Chinese New Year, it is a great pleasure to join you here in the Shangri-La Plaza Mall and attend a series of cultural events sponsored by the Confucius Institute and the Ricardo Leon Center for Chinese Studies of the Ateneo University. I thank you very much for this uh, event to bridge two cultures and link the two peoples for better understanding with each other. Today, Shangri-La Plaza Mall is decked with Chinese lanterns, red paper cards, and various handcrafts. I'm surrounded by the sights and sounds of festival celebrations. I believe the Chinese films, photo, and painting exhibitions will enrich your experiences of Chinese New Year with more details of life the average people are living in China. Dear friends, China is willing to share with its neighbors the fruits of development, not only the economic benefit, but also the products of culture. The cultural differences between China and the Philippines will only inspire us to appreciate, to appreciate each other's works of fine arts and understand the complicity and subtlety, subtlety of human nature. The ancient Chinese saga Confucius says, in the application of rice, harmony is to be prized. What he means is that the purpose of various rice is to bring harmony among people and between people and the nature. Actually, harmony is the fundamental value of Chinese traditional culture. I hope today's event will leave you a sense of harmony. Finally, I wish, I wish you success of your cultural events and all the best in the, in the new year. Manikong Bakong Dao, Mabuhai. Chinese Ambassador to the Philippines, Father Ramon Jet Villarin, President of the Ateneo de Manila University, Father Bien Nebres, Dr. Ellen Palanca, Director of the Confucius Institute, Mr. Ricardo Leon, and Dr. Rosita Leon. Honored guests, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen. Festivals such as this reminds us of the values that Filipinos and Chinese share in common. Among them, our deep appreciation for family and community, and of course, our fondness for festivities. So perhaps it would be best if I begin by wishing each one a Happy New Year, this coming year of the snake. The present sense 
his regrets for his absence today. He's in Davao today and we call on to spare a few events. I'm honored to be with you on this behalf. Allow me to share with you his message for this occasion. For Filipinos and Chinese alike, the Lunar New Year is an occasion to celebrate the rich heritage that our nation shares. For this reason, I declared the Chinese New Year as a special non-working holiday last year, a gesture of recognition from the Filipino people to the Chinese community of our nation. Relations between China and the Philippines stretch centuries back. In fact, our Chinatown in Binondo is the oldest Chinatown in the world, further proof of the history and culture that our people share. Ours are the values that persist beyond generations and borders, values that have become the very cornerstone of our societies and of our very relationship, relations, industry, dedication, creativity, and love for country. And there is no greater tangible proof of the relationship between our countries than the many Chinese Filipinos who have built new lives here. Among them, one of me. One of, I am one of them. I am no stranger to this. Being a Filipino of Chinese ancestry myself, during my visit to China, I was given the opportunity to plant a tree in my ancestral village in Hongqian, in Fujianshan. A humble act of respect and deep admiration for origin, which my mother also performed when she was president. Being here truly reminds me of the bonds of history and friendship that tie our peoples together. For the past two years and seven months, our administration has been working to strengthen our relationship with China and with other nations in our region. By widening consensus and by building on our collective strengths, we can truly attain our common goal, the advancement of our countrymen, which redounds to the development of our countries, and especially Southeast Asia. Through activities like this, we can further strengthen our partnerships, which open more doors of opportunity for the citizens of both our countries. On this note, allow me to thank the Atenea de Manila University, the Confucius Institute, and Celadon for fostering a culture of openness and engagement between the Filipino people and Chinese society through people-to-people -people exchanges and through endeavors that deepen our appreciation for other cultures and peoples. Together, we look forward to a successful year for ourselves and for each other. Together, let us fulfill our littleness potential and share its fruits with our countrymen. Just as the Chun season reminds us of new beginnings, may this festival serve as a new opportunity for us to forward dialogue and cooperation in all our spheres of activity. Let, us, let this be a reminder to all of us that the successes of our respective nations take root in the flourishing of our peoples and the continued development of our region. Again, a happy new year to each one of you. And if the president was here, he would have tried to greet you in our common tongue. So let me speak Chinese on behalf of the president. Thank you. Father Jet Villarin, Secretary Edwin Lasierda, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Before anything, let me greet everyone here a happy Chinese New Year. On the occasion of the seventh Spring Film Festival, the Ateneo Confucius Institute joins the Ateneo University celebration of Chinese New Year with several activities. We have an exhibit of Chinese paintings done by our own painting students. The exhibit is right here in this area. We also set up a photo exhibit courtesy of the Embassy of the People's Republic of China. You can see this on the fourth floor of this mall. We will also conduct cultural workshops this Sunday from 2 to 5 in the afternoon. 
So if you're interested in learning Chinese painting, Chinese uh, paper cutting, Chinese knots, and basic Chinese phrases, come on Sunday, which by the way, is Chinese New Year's Day. Today, we are happy to inform you that the Confucius Institute at the Ateneo de Manila University, with the cooperation of International Studies for Chinese Arts, and our painting class students, and Art Post Asia, produced a coffee table book entitled Chinese Painting in the Philippines. I would also like to acknowledge the layout designer of the book, Mr. Chris Garcia, our own co coordinator. Okay. For this book, we're very privileged to be able to get messages from the President of the Republic of the Philippines, Benigno Aquino III, the Director of the Confucius Institute Headquarters, Madame Shilin, Ambassador of China to the Philippines, Madame Ma Keqing, Chinese Embassy Cultural Counselor, Mr. Pan Thung, President of our partner university, Sun Yat-sen University, Dr. Xu Ning Sheng, the foreword, as mentioned by Father Jet Villarin, was provided by him. He is the, he's also the chairman of the board of the Confucius Institute at the Ateneo de Manila University. So at this point, I would like to request Father Villarin to present copies of the book to President Benigno Aquino III to be received by Secretary Edwin Lacerda and Honorable Ma Keqing. 